Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to talk about a common rail product that we have. So I've got a couple of different units. So this is our Magnum unit, which is um, very late out of Germany, got a very fast processor, works very, very well, has proven to be very reliable. We don't get any comebacks much at all. Um, and they provide great power and excellent fuel economy. This is a big brother, this is the ultimate chip. So he comes completely in a waterproof case and he's got a waterproof connection onto the plug. So we tend to use this guy more in trucks and tractors and things that get hit with pressure washers and what have you. Similar operating system with the two units, in fact, and they take the same software. So how the unit works is it, it brings the fueling further forward in the RPM range. So if the car's looking for 10,000 pounds of fuel pressure at say 1,500 RPM, this unit will call for 11,000 pounds of fuel pressure. So it brings the power on earlier, or brings the fuel on earlier to create more power at a specific RPM. And of course it does that right through the rev range. It creates more power right through the rev range. Um, very late model technology from Germany. Um, very fast processor. And what that means is it holds the maximum torque late in the RPM range. So a cheaper unit will really start to fall off after 3000 RPM, but these ones hold the power right through 4000 RPM, generally in most cars, so um, that's quite a significant advantage. Um, so great unit, $875 plus GST, simple to install, very fast processor, reliable, will last a long time. Um, they connect to the car simply by plugging into the fuel pressure sensor with a couple of plugs, or the slightly more advanced ones, we have a dual connection, so we have two plugs going to the fuel pressure sensor and two plugs going to the turbo pressure sensor, in which case we have to activate the second channel in the unit. So, advanced two channel unit, simple install, great results, very, very effective way to, to make good power gains in, a, in most common rail diesel engines. Um, so, yeah, if you give us a call, then we can run through what the best unit for your car is. Mostly it's one of these, but of course can do other units and plug onto the fuel injectors if your car doesn't like this kind of technology. And there's a few that don't like it, but mostly these work really well.